Hey guys, how we doing? Today I'm coming to you with a thank you card. And the cartridge or the digital image that I end up using is from Dimensional Scenes under the big top. I cut it out at 4 inches by 6.25, 6 and a quarter. So here goes my card. This is the paper pack that I use. And this is the pattern paper that I use, which is so gorgeous. It got that foil in it. And this is from Michaels. You could probably still get it. Um, this is just recently that I ended up getting this, and it got some phenomenal color papers in it, and it's awesome, guys. I love this. This is the paper that I use, and Craftsmith, she has some amazing paper designs, and it's only 5 $6 when they have it on the hot buy, okay, guys? So remember that. Go hit your Michaels and see what they got. So here goes my card base. And I'm going to put it all together because I didn't and I end up stamping the back of it. So this is my personal stamp and it says created by Gloria Dasher. And let's start decorating the front of the car. Well, the inside. Now for the inside, I have this, this paralyzed paper and I'm just going to glue it right down there. And then we're going to start at, at, on the the top of the card for the life of me I couldn't even get that out and I'm just going to run my tape and just give me a second And I'm not going to put the personal note that I put inside because it's personal, you know. It's only meant for her. And when she'll get it, she'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to add this right into the middle, making sure that it's all even. And that looks good right there. So now, you see how cute this design is? Oh my God, look at the bottom of the card. It is so cute. And it comes with a box card. And I already scored some of it, and I just wanted to show you how to do it when I, on camera. And it, the machine scores it for you, so that's even better. And you don't need to use no glue for this, as far as I know. All you need is just uh, to glue maybe the sides right here, to, so it can stay folded. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my bone folder so I can, so this crease can go flat. And I'm going to do the same on this side. And then you will see that the machine made lines. And all you got to do is just bend it a little bit and it will come up. Okay, and then you do the same with the other ones Just so it can lay flat and the reason why this is sort of like a box card because this is a dimensional card So it got a couple of layers and you know, you always want to make sure that the layers are going to go just fine And then these tabs right here they go inside let me bring you guys down a little bit. So then this would go in. And you don't want to glue the bottoms. You just actually want to add glue to the sides right here. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to add some. You could add red tape, but since this is not a heavy and big card, I'm just using regular ATG tape. Okay, and then you're going to fold it in and you're going to fold the tabs in here. And I probably put too much glue up here. So let me roll this down a little bit. And 
and that looks good right there and I'm just gonna kind of press and you can use your bone folder for that to kind of give it a flat and then you do the other side making sure that it's lined up edge to edge and it's supposed to look just like that guys and this card would fit right in here as you can see so let's start layering the layers now for my layers I didn't add, end up add, adding anything I'm going to end up putting this what I did was it only comes with a bare layer which is the card base but you know me I have to do something different so what I ended up doing was cutting this part right here and making it smaller so it will fit overlapping and leaving just a small little border of the color cardstock going all around guys because sometimes I think just one layer is not good enough but that's how I think some people think that one layer is just perfect for them but you know I'm I think out of the box so I tend to like to uh add different things and that looks really good right there so this is what the card is going to look like when she gets it and these are my cuts I have the first layer then the overlay and then the frame now the frame is in three pieces you can actually just cut it two pieces and not worry about the third one but you know I like the way that the third one fits it fits really good so now what I'm going to do I'm just gonna add some glue to the back of this one and I'm just gonna add just a line of glue and that's when these bottles come in play because when you have the big bottles it really don't really really don't work Okay, so now I'm just going to take this and just slightly go around it without touching the circles just so we can adhere. It don't have to be perfect, guys. You just want to make sure that this layer is attached. Okay, and then I got it as a white layer because I wanted it to the white to see through and you see how it look it looks with the white the white really makes it pop up and like I said if you got white glue that's all right because it kind of looks like it's supposed to be there because of the white background okay now this border is much bigger than this one so you have to layer it from the top because you want the insides to have like a double layer so with this I'm just gonna add some glue go all around And then you want to line this up to the tip, making sure that it lines up to the top of it because you want it's supposed to be like a shadow on the inside of the frame. Just like that, guys. You see that? Boy, this is coming out so pretty already. And then if you want, just make sure that you have some layering. And if you, if you want, okay, let me add some more glue over here. Okay. And if you want, you could use your Winkostella just to give it a little bling. 
And I'm going to bring this cardstock over because I don't want to bling out my thing. And just run it through. And that's what's so good about this, uh, not Wink Stella, but it's similar to Wink Stella, but this is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And if you just get the clear, only the clear, guys, it it is amazing to how, if you got colored cardstock, that's what it's going to be colorized. Now I have all the other ones that are color, and I have not used them yet because I am stuck on the clear the clear really really makes bl brings it out guys really br brings it out okay so there goes that and look at how sparkly it is now you see that so now I'm just gonna take these two layers and add some glue And it's going to be just, you know, add glue as carefully as you want or as fast. It all depends on how you do your cards. Me, as long as the edges is good and maybe a little in between, I'm great with it. So it could lay flat. And then I'm just going to take this, and this goes right on top evenly. Okay, just like that. Look at how quick was that. And then the only thing that got left is that you put the border right on top. Okay, then you add this right on top, and this adds goes right on, guys. Okay, so you see how cool that was? Let me add some more sparkle pin down here. And that's it and there goes the thank you and then for the thank you all I have to do is just put it right on top and this is such a cute card but what I'm gonna do since I have a, a three-dimensional envelope I am going to pop this up so it'll be popped up Okay, let me just cut a little bit off of this. Let me cut it in half so I could use both of the angle. Wait. So I can use both of them. And you could have used a piece of foam sheet to make it a little bit easier. So it could just be one foam. But when you have a lot of one product, you want to try to use it up. So that's what I'm doing right now because I have a lot of foam tape. And then I'm just going to cut this right here to add it right over here on the sides. And then now I'm just going to take the release paper off. And the 3M release paper comes off like a charm. I mean, it, it cuts like, it, it tears like butter. And it comes off really, really easy. It's kind of pricey, but it's worth it. Okay, so now I'm just going to add this to the middle. Making sure that it is in the middle. And that looks like it's in the middle. Yep. And then I'm just going to press down on it. Now is a flat card. So there goes my thank you card, guys. 
it's gonna be simple quick and easy you know and then you just add it in there and look at how it fits you put a zot uh you could put a velcro but you know for this small little card i'm just gonna put a, a little uh bling zot and it's gonna hold it down and there goes my thank you card so that person will receive this and it's going to be amazing guys so thank you for watching if you like this video please thumbs it up and if you haven't subscribed press the subscribe button and press on the bell so you see when i upload a project i'll talk to you guys soon bye now and then the inside is plain because i'm gonna write a personal message talk to you later now bye bye